All right, I'm on hole number four of the Great Outdoors Tournament. Let's go to Golf Clash Notebook. And hole number four is on Greenwick Point. Greenwick Point, and it's hole one. It's a par three. And we're going right at this one with a sniper from over here with a 10% wind adjustment. And I believe I used a Quasar the first time through. So I'm using a sniper and a Quasar. I'm using a Quasar for the side spin. Let me write that down here. Quasar. Quasar. And a sniper. 10% wind adjustment. Critical. If you don't do the 10% wind adjustment and you're like, why am I always off? You're off because of that 10% wind adjustment. It's very important on this hole that you do a 10% wind adjustment. And it's been like that ever since this hole came out, so I don't think they've made any changes on this hole. I like my blue ring to be off of that transitional area, and I want to go right at it. So it's 4 1, so it'd be 4 5. Cool thing about a sniper is, is it's 100% accurate, so it's 4.5 rings, and then just try and hit it straight. Hit it great to the left. really looking here is distance so when I came through here in my first practice round I left the ball guy just a little short and ended up I think just a little short and there I put it right up against it and ended up just a little long so um, the next time I come through here I'm gonna leave the ball guy just a little bit short of the green I'm really working on distance I wondered if I have, if I get the trajectory right and I have a shot at hole in one when I get to the hole, I want it to be go, going slow enough that it just falls in the hole. I don't want to hope that it, it catches it because sometimes if you're coming in with just a little bit too much speed, it'll hit that flagpole and it'll bounce off and you'll actually end up way away from the hole. My opponent hits it perfect. I have no idea what their wind adjustment was since they eyeballed it. These par threes are definitely works in progress. So you want to dial them in as the week goes on. And the deal is no matter how well you played them in the last tournament, you'll have to go back and just get comfortable with that hole and with your clubs. But the key is to find a spot and continue to work that spot the one thing about down there in the starting spot here is is that you have no place to wedge your rings up so that you can get more than one point of reference but I definitely want to start off where I'm somewhere in the neighborhood of, of the blue ring three rings off of that rough down there on the drive good luck all right that was hole number four of the Great Outdoors Tournament and Monday's practice round of the rookie division. Thanks for watching.